I suppose it is the same, really. It was a bit gritty and stuff, early 60s, and, and uh, it did sort of blossom, you know, in the in the 67, I suppose. It did all become kind of more open and light and colourful, yeah. And, you know, the, the silly stuff we used to wear, it was great. <laughs> It's a it's a good point. Um, I I, would, I don't know really because I never sort of followed any of those kind of trends. I never had, well, I had moustaches and and long hair and that, but um, I don't know if it would go kind of quite that deep um, that you were actually packaged. I don't think that happened to me really, uh, except you just wore the most outlandish things you could really. That's well, the thing is. There's not much you can do except hope that your record, you know, you've got a new single out or whatever, and you just hope it climbs next week, you know, and it was like, a, oh, it was like <clears throat> listening to that chart every weekend was Sunday or was it? Sunday or Monday, whatever it was. I think it was on a Sunday, and uh, it started reading these charts, and then, oh, not in that bit. I hope maybe it's gone up more, you know, you think, and it's like, oh, no, you know, and then, wow, it's number five. Shit, that'll do, <laughs> you know, and it really would do as well for me. I was always happy with it anywhere in the top ten. But my dad always used to say, "Oh, it should be a bloody number one, that." You know, mine bloody number five. <laughs> I go, oh, I can't win, you know. But so it was, it was, it was a bit tense, you know, those chart weekends. <laughs>